In a setting where cities are carved from pure white marble, they shimmer under the scorching desert sun, luminous remnants of a long-forgotten empire. This country, wrapped in mysteries as dense as the morning mists that envelop its mountains, is a land of deep narratives. Each road and each resplendent building not only displays its magnificence, but also echoes a silence that seems to carry the ancient secrets of an enigmatic nation. Uncommon laws shape everyday life. The prohibition of cars of certain colors, a heavily restricted internet, and an almost religious adoration of leaders that permeates even the air one breathes. But what really lies behind these immaculate marble facades? What are the hidden stories that dwell in the shadows of these grand monuments? We invite you to join us in a deep exploration of Turkmenistan, uncovering the veil of secrets that shrouds this intriguing country. Welcome to the enigma of the world's most peculiar and closed-off nation. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Fascinating, fascinating Traditions, Traditions channel. channel. Here, Here, we, we unravel, unravel fascinating, fascinating secrets and explore, and explore the incredible, the incredible, world, incredible around world around us. Don't, Don't miss, miss out on the discoveries. discoveries. Subscribe, Subscribe now, activate, activate notifications, and embark, embark on this knowledge, this knowledge adventure, adventure with, us. with us. In the heart of Turkmenistan, the veneration of leaders transcends mere governmental formality, transforming into an omnipresent influence that infiltrates all aspects of public life. This personality cult manifests in ways that extend far beyond routine tributes to political leaders. In the cities, immense statues not only adorn but dominate the urban landscape, acting as constant reminders of state power and presence in every aspect of the citizen's existence. The extent of governmental control is not limited to these visual displays of power. In Turkmenistan, the state's influence permeates even the most minute details of everyday life, which may seem trivial or even absurd to outside observers. A peculiar example of this control is the prohibition of black cars on the streets, a rule laden with profound symbolism. This norm reflects an attempt to shape not only the urban aesthetic, but also the collective psyche, promoting a visual uniformity that ultimately implies behavioral conformity. Moreover, in Turkmenistan, state control extends in a particularly invasive manner to the lives of women. In a decision that challenges contemporary concepts of gender equality, a ban has been imposed on women's right to drive, a prohibition that limits not only their physical mobility, but also their autonomy and individual freedom. These measures are indicative of a more comprehensive control, aimed at regulating behaviors and ensuring strict adherence to government-imposed norms. These rules, often unexpected and bizarre, resonate deeply not only in the functionality of daily life, but also in the spirit of the citizens. They reside in a state where every detail of public space and every aspect of personal interactions are meticulously orchestrated to reinforce government authority. Thus, the personality cult goes beyond a simple tool of visual propaganda. It presents itself as a comprehensive policy that seeks to shape and dominate society at its core. In Turkmenistan, these peculiarities do not merely represent traits of an authoritarian regime, but also serve as instruments of an ongoing effort to forge a culture that mirrors the government's vision. For international observers, these practices offer a fascinating glimpse into a country that maintains a unique balance between oppression and a meticulously cultivated order. Ashgabat, the capital of Turkmenistan, emerges as a spectacle of grandeur in the arid landscape of Central Asia. Known for its wide avenues and stunning white marble buildings, the city resembles an open-air museum where the wealth and power of the Turkmen state are proudly displayed. However, Despite its dazzling aesthetic, Ashgabat is enveloped in an atmosphere of quietude that transcends its apparent tranquility. The streets, perfectly maintained and majestic, are often deserted, echoing a silence that reveals much about the reality hidden beneath the shiny facade. This silence is not a mere coincidence or a result of chance. It is a tangible expression of the repression exerted by the state. The few passers-by seen are observed hurrying along, 
With quick steps that reflect the caution ingrained in daily life, there is a constant tension, a palpable fear that even routine actions may be interpreted as challenges to the ubiquitous authority of the government. The squares of Ashgabat, adorned with golden statues and luxurious fountains, display an almost unreal beauty, but this architectural magnificence also acts as a disguising veil. Behind this flawless facade, the city's residents live under constant surveillance that permeates every aspect of their lives, from the clothes they wear to the conversations they maintain. Privacy becomes an extraordinarily rare luxury and freedom of expression, a risk that few dare to take. Additionally, the capital serves as a reflection of the isolationist policies adopted by the country. While tourists are a rare sight, those who do manage to visit are rigorously monitored, with their activities and movements confined to strictly government-approved areas. This level of control helps to preserve the meticulously constructed international image of Ashgabat as a city of wonders, while camouflaging the harsher realities of the authoritarian regime. In this context, Ashgabat transcends the role of a mere capital. It becomes a stage where the Turkmenistan government dramatizes its narrative of power and control. The stunning beauty of the city is undeniable, yet life beneath this surface is intricate, marked by complexities and restrictions that not even its grand architecture can hide. Ashgabat, with its marble streets hiding secrets, serves as a silent reminder that in the intersection between authoritarianism and aesthetics, beauty can be as oppressive as any governmental decree. Behind the imposing marble facades of Ashgabat, the reality for citizens is defined by pervasive surveillance covering all aspects of private and public life. The constant presence of security cameras and undercover agents makes freedom of expression extremely restricted, indeed a tangible risk. Conversations are carefully monitored, personal opinions are kept secret, and authenticity is often sacrificed in favor of the need for conformity. This oppression extends to the digital sphere and the internet, which are severely censored by the government. Access to international websites, social media platforms, and even messaging services is blocked or severely restricted, leaving citizens with a highly controlled version of reality. This digital censorship not only limits access to information, but also isolates Turkmenistan from the rest of the world, confining citizens to a bubble composed exclusively of state narratives. In such a restrictive environment, creativity and innovation are often stifled, as the fear of reprisals for expressing ideas that challenge government policies is a palpable reality. The culture of fear permeates the arts, education, and communication, hindering intellectual development and the exchange of ideas that are essential for the dynamism of any society. This surveillance and control are not confined to the capital. They extend throughout Turkmenistan, where corruption and nepotism further exacerbate distrust in public institutions. Ordinary citizens often find themselves trapped between the need to adapt to survive and the longing for some kind of change that might bring a more promising future. In the face of these adversities, the resilience of the Turkmen people manifests through small acts of resistance and the preservation of cultural traditions that still resist eradication by the regime. Festivals, music, and traditional arts continue to flourish, acting as bastions of a national identity that persists despite oppression. Life under the shadows of Ashgabat's imposing structures is marked by striking contrasts between visible opulence and hidden repression, between architectural splendor and regression in fundamental freedoms. It is at this complex intersection that the citizens of Turkmenistan continue to navigate life, exploring any loopholes they might find in an often grim reality. In the heart of the Karakum Desert, the stunning Darvaza Crater, nicknamed the Door to Hell, is a spectacle of fire and flames that burns incessantly. This natural phenomenon has become one of the most striking icons of Turkmenistan, not only for its stunning visual beauty, but also as a powerful symbol of the indomitable forces of nature and the human errors that can result in lasting impacts.
The history of the crater dates back to the 1970s, when Soviet geologists drilling for natural gas accidentally breached an underground methane gas-filled cavern. The ground above collapsed, forming a vast hole that began releasing large amounts of gas. To prevent a potentially even greater environmental catastrophe, the decision was made to set the gas aflame, hoping that the flames would extinguish within a few weeks. However, the calculations proved incorrect, and the fire has continued to burn for over 40 years, casting a hellish glow over the desert. This fascinating phenomenon has become a magnet for tourists from around the world, drawn by the unique opportunity to witness the never-extinguishing fire. However, the Darvaza Crater is much more than a mere tourist spot. It symbolizes the complex interactions between human activity and the natural environment. This phenomenon reflects how human interventions, even those with initially benign intentions, can trigger unexpected natural reactions, creating situations that escape our control and understanding. Moreover, the door to hell acts as a potent metaphor for Turkmenistan itself, a nation full of contrasts and paradoxes, where natural beauty and architectural wonders coexist side by side with a stringent and often repressive regime. As the flames of the crater illuminate the night sky, they also shed light on the duality of a country that, despite its natural and cultural riches, continues to grapple with the shadows of its past and present. Thus, the Darvaza Crater transcends being just a testament to the power of nature or human failings. It stands out as a vibrant symbol of Turkmenistan. It captures the essence of the country's history, its political complexities, and its rich cultural identity. Fiery and indomitable, the crater defies the natural elements and reflects the resilient and unbreakable spirit of the Turkmen people. Economically, Turkmenistan is recognized as a colossus in the natural gas sector, possessing one of the largest global reserves of this resource. This underground wealth represents a crucial source of revenue, bolstering the country's economy through significant exports to neighboring and more distant nations. However, Turkmenistan's geographical location, landlocked far from the oceans, presents notable logistical challenges that hinder the commercialization of its natural resources. The lack of direct access to the sea restricts the country's natural gas transport options. The necessity to pass through intermediary nations to reach international markets not only raises transport costs, but also exposes Turkmenistan to external political and economic vulnerabilities. For example, the pipelines that carry Turkmen gas to China pass through Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. Thus, any geopolitical tensions or political instabilities in these areas can directly impact the flow of exports and, consequently, Turkmenistan's economy. Recognizing the challenges imposed by its geography, the Turkmen government has actively sought to diversify its natural gas export routes to decrease dependence on traditional pathways. One of the most ambitious projects in this regard is the proposed TAPI, Turkmenistan-Afghanistan-Pakistan-India pipeline, which aims to extend a pipeline through Afghanistan to Pakistan and eventually to India. This project, despite its significant economic and strategic potential, faces major challenges, particularly in terms of security and political stability in the Afghan region. Moreover, Turkmenistan's economic dependence on a single commodity, natural gas, makes the country vulnerable to fluctuations in the global market. Changes in gas prices can have immediate and profound effects on the national economy. This volatility underscores the critical importance of diversifying the economy, not just to stabilize national revenue, but also to sustain long-term economic development and strengthen the country's economic resilience against global uncertainties. Therefore, although Turkmenistan positions itself as a crucial player in the global energy market due to its vast natural gas reserves, it faces a complex set of economic and logistical challenges that demand careful strategies and international cooperation. This reality underscores the intricate interplay between geography, natural resources, and politics in the global economy. In this context, 
Turkmenistan strives to consolidate its position while navigating the often turbulent waters of global geopolitics and economics, seeking to balance its growth ambitions with the need for economic stability and security. Despite the challenges posed by a dependent economy and a challenging geographical location, the Turkmen people keep their rich cultural traditions alive, reflected in a variety of practices, celebrations, and crafts that have withstood the test of time. Music, dance, intricately woven carpets, and poetry are fundamental pillars of Turkmen identity, providing not only a refuge from political reality, but also a form of cultural resistance against attempts at homogenization. Traditional festivities such as Noras, the Persian New Year, continue to be moments of joy and connection, where communities gather to celebrate with traditional music, dance, and food. These occasions also represent an opportunity to pass down, from generation to generation, the stories and practices that define Turkmen culture. It is in these moments that the resilience of the Turkmen people is most evident, demonstrating a remarkable ability to preserve their cultural heritage despite governmental restrictions. Turkmen handicrafts, particularly the art of carpet weaving, remain a deeply revered practice, with patterns that narrate ancestral stories and reflect the natural landscape of the country. These carpets are not just valuable export products, they represent emblems of national identity and cultural pride. The intricate designs and meticulous craftsmanship involved in carpet weaving are not only a testament to Turkmen artistic skills, but also serve as a vehicle for cultural expression and continuity. This art form, protected and promoted even amidst economic and political challenges, showcases the Turkmen commitment to preserving and celebrating their historical and cultural legacy. Hope and resilience are also palpable in the way Turkmen face daily adversities. Despite living under a strict regime, many individuals in Turkmenistan use subtle forms of art, literature, and humor to express their opinions and aspirations, finding creative outlets that provide autonomy and self-expression beyond government reach. These acts of personal and cultural resistance not only challenge the constraints imposed by the regime, but also highlight the enduring human spirit and vitality. The Turkmen people's ability to adapt and persevere, cultivating a rich and meaningful life rooted in their cultural traditions, illustrates a triumph over their oppressive and economically challenging circumstances. These traditions and creative expressions are essential fostering a sense of community and continuity, and demonstrating the resilience and power of culture and identity as sources of strength and inspiration in difficult times. Therefore, in the heart of the Karakam Desert and under the shadows of imposing statues, there burns a flame of hope and resilience as bright as the Darvaza Crater. This flame is fueled by the vibrant culture and indomitable spirit of the Turkmen people, ensuring that, no matter how difficult the present may seem, there is always a promise of renewal and cultural continuity in the future. Turkmenistan is truly a land of mysteries and striking contrasts. Understanding these complexities is essential for any traveler or enthusiast interested in uncovering the secrets of this unique country. Did you enjoy embarking on this journey to unravel the mysteries of Turkmenistan with us? Subscribe to the channel for more adventures and discoveries in places still little explored around the world. Be sure to click on the video appearing on your screen now and get ready to explore the next destination. Thank you for watching and see you in the next exploration.